So it's time to test your understanding on evaporation. Uh, can you use uh, steam as heat source uh, when removing salt from seawater? So making drinking water from seawater. What to think of here? Well, uh, for one thing, you have a relation between the boiling point and the pressure. And uh, then you have this setup, right? You have a feed coming in and uh, it's being evaporated here. So part comes out as a liquid, part comes out as a vapor. And then on the other side, you have steam and condensate. So can you make this work? Pause here and try to explain uh, why it wouldn't work or why it would work. Okay, yes, it's possible. But how to do it? Well, if you, if you, let's first assume that we have atmospheric pressure on both sides. What that would mean is that this steam here uh, condenses at approximately 100 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, this feed here boils at the temperature slightly above 100 degrees centigrade. So then the temperature difference is bad, right? Because the steam uh, must have a higher condensation temperature than the boiling point here. So what to do? Well, either you can reduce the pressure by uh, reducing the temperature here in the condenser, or you could increase uh, the pressure on the steam side, thus increasing the condensation temperature. So when doing evaporation, evaporation you have to think carefully on how to choose the pressures um, on either side of uh, this heat exchanger. 